Hello everyone, we will continue the topic web design pro app app and in the previous video, we finished with the logic part. We simply get the value of sales document number. We have written the select query and after that, whatever the values we are getting through select query, we bind it with the layout elements. We are setting the value of the attributes. Now, what we will do, we will understand each and everything in the debugging mode. So if some confusion is there, it will be automatically clear. Now, the first important point from the interview perspective also, if some interviewer is asking the question or WebDen Pro app, they will ask, okay, are you able to put session breakpoint in WebDen Pro app? Have you seen? There is no concept of session breakpoint here. We only, only have the external breakpoint. Suppose if I will go for any program through SC38 transaction code, suppose I'm displaying this particular program. You can see we have session breakpoint also. We have external breakpoint also. But in Web10 Pro ABAP, we do not have a concept of session breakpoint. We only, only have the external breakpoint. In the debugging playlist, I clearly explained what is the difference between session breakpoint and external breakpoint. Now you can understand why, why we only have the external breakpoint. See, we are running the application on the web browser. We are running the application on the Internet Explorer. From there, I want to debug the code, but I have written in the SAP. It means for that application, that application is the external application. So if I want to debug, I have to go for external breakpoint. If you want more clarity, just in the debugging playlist, Prefer the video of difference between external and session breakpoint. Whenever you want to debug the code through external, whenever you are going for BSP applications, web applications, at that time you can debug the ABAP code through external breakpoint only. And it is clearly understand that is the external thing. If you from there, you want to debug the code in SAP, then external breakpoint is applicable. And maximum time interviewer asks this question to check, have you debugged the WebDen Pro applications or not? So what I will do, I will simply put the external breakpoint. Now I will run the WebDen Pro application. I will go for test. Now you can see we have sales document number and now the submit button is enabled. Previously it was disabled. I will go for some input and I will click on to the submit button. Whenever I will click on to the submit button, yes, we already given one action. Yes, own action submit. Whenever action will trigger, yes, whenever event will trigger, who will handle that event? Event handler method. And we have put the breakpoint. We have set the breakpoint in the event handler method. Now we will debug this code. You can see, firstly, we have the object of the node. We have the object of the element. You can see both are blank as of now. Now, whenever I will proceed, the object will create. Whenever this code will execute, the object of node will create. Now I am doing F6. You can see the object of node is created. Yes. Whenever this code will execute, the object of element will create. Now you can see we have the object of the element. Now, whenever we have the object of the element, can we call this instance method? Yes, this get underscore attribute is a instance method. Now you can see LV underscore VBELN, it is blank. Whenever this method will execute, we will get the value of sales document number. I'm doing F6. Now you can see we have the value of sales document number. Now we are writing a query. 
based upon the sales document number one, we are fetching the value of these four columns and value will come into these four variables. Just you can see these four variables are blank as of now. I'm doing F6. And you can see we have the value of date, time, username, and we have this particular document category also. I can check in the table. Are these the values? You can see rate is 25. Okay. This is our time. This is our username. And this is our document category. We are getting the values. Now, now we are calling the method set attribute. If I will check, is the, are these are your instance method? If I will check this, you all know you can check the global class or global interface through SC24 transaction code. We have a method set attribute. These are which method? They are your instance method. Whenever you have the instance method, you require the object. Is the object available? Yes, object is created. So we are calling the method. Firstly, we are setting the value of date. We are setting the value of time. We are setting the value of username. We are setting the value of document category. So first, we have set the value of that date. Now, after that, we have set the value of the time. After that, we set the value of the username. Yes. Now, after that, we have set the value of the document category. Whenever I will execute, you can see we have the expected result. Now, you can see we have the expected result. This is the same thing which is available in the table. 25, 148, Vishal R. And what is the document category? It is SOFO. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, the first important thing we covered that in Web10 Pro ABAP, you cannot debug through session breakpoint. Anyway, session breakpoint is not available. So there will not be any confusion. If some interviewer asks, you can simply say, you are running the application on the web but you want to debug the code in SAP. So at that time, yes, you need to go for external breakpoint. Then I put the external breakpoint. When I clicked on the submit button, the event handler method called. So firstly, we got the object of the node. We got the object of the element. Then with the help of get attribute method, we got the value of sales document number. After that, we have written the query. We are getting the value of date, time, username, and document category. And we simply, simply find it with the screen elements. These are your screen elements. If I will go for the layout, these are your screen elements, date, time, username, and document category. And we are able to see the expected output. Now, in the next video, we will go for the concept of assistance class. Assistance class. Again, important topic from the interview perspective. So that's it in this video. Thank you.